With heat-treated steel and a reliable lock, this knife can handle anything. You need a good solid knife, because when it comes time to perform, that knife's got to deliver. In 1954, Buck revolutionized the knife industry with the folding lock blade. It represented one of the only folding lockback knives that you could truly depend on. Here at the Buck factory, they're all about the blade. And for the 110 Folding Hunter, the blade is everything. The blade starts with a coil of steel. Blanks are cut from the coil of steel, then go through a process called double disc. The double disc machine is, is two electric motors that drive a giant surface grinding wheel. The grinding wheels shave the blades down to the general knife shape. At this time, the steel is relatively soft. A notch is cut that will allow the blade to fold into the handle, and a logo is stamped on. Before the knives are hard, that allows us to imprint into the side of the steel the buck logo. Next, to make the blades buck tough, the steel is hardened through a three-step heat process. Heat treat is really where the buck magic takes place. It starts with high heat, followed by extreme cold, then the final medium heat treatment. The heat treatment changes the molecular structure of the steel to make it corrosion resistant, durable, and with the right hardness. You gotta have optimum hardness and toughness. The only way to know if the blade has optimum hardness is to test it. It's gonna go all the way down, and what that does is it brings the diamond needle into the blade. The test measures how far into the surface the machine can force the diamond tip. The deeper the indent, the softer the metal. That machine is very consistent in telling us the hardness. With the correct hardness, the blades go back for another grinding to remove additional excess material and hone the blade shape. Final double disc is where, following heat treat, we, we kind of dial it in to get just an exact uh, thickness for production specifications. The blades are tumbled to remove any burrs and sharp edges. Then, to create the cutting edge, the blades are inserted into a fine grinding machine that will taper the edge at a 45-degree angle. So you have a thick backbone down the back of the knife, but the knife blade comes down to a very thin edge. Next, a flat grinder tapers the back edge of the blade from the center to the tip. This creates the point on the knife. So the back of the blade isn't sharpened, but this edge just thins that point so it improves puncturability. Perfecting the hunting knife has taken four generations of buck families, starting in 1902. My great-grandfather started making knives when he was 12 in Leavenworth, Kansas, working in a blacksmith shop. It wasn't until World War II that he was able to think about it as a business. The call went out for weapons for the servicemen, so he says, well, I, I can make knives for them. After the war, Hoyt Buck, along with his eldest son, Alfred, were making approximately 25 knives a week. What we're doing right now is doing, you know, six to 7,000 knives a day. To make 7,000 knives a day, Buck had to sharpen their assembly time down to an efficient 15 minutes a knife. So what they do is they, they actually build the knife on pins that are already pre-set up the pin inserter machine withdraws those pins at the same time pushing rivets into their place. Fully assembled, the knife is buffed and polished. So what we need to do is buff it. Then we gotta blow the belly out to get the compound and dirt out. A final sharpening creates the perfect edge on the blade. So when we get to this process, what we want to do is put an edge on the blade and it needs to be about 15 degrees on each side. And then we sharpen the daylights out of that thing and it's done. The blade perfectly honed, it's on to the final inspection and packaging. We got to check for scratches, dings, you know, different various stuff like that. With a worldwide reputation for manufacturing top-of-the-line knives, these blades need to be perfect before leaving the building. Final inspection is easily the most important part of the job. Uh, Buck Knives has pretty much gotten its name solely on quality. And that quality comes from four generations of Buck. We have a multi-generational legacy that we have to live up to, and we take it seriously.